welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, and travel. So if those are videos that you would be interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for getting me up to 2,500 subscribers. Wow, I have not been consistent, but I am finding my path again. I'm finding my rhythm again. So hopefully we can grow here and just keep giving y'all great content. So today's video is not going to be a long one. I don't like long videos these days, guys. I just want to give you the tea, give you the information and go on. So today is going to be one of my favorite things other than fashion, travel, and lifestyle stuff. Perfume is my obsession. If you've looked on my channel, I've worked with perfume brands. I love perfume. It's an obsession of mine and I will not stop. Because I have such an obsession with perfume, and I know I'm gonna buy a lot. I need to find dupes. I need to find more affordable versions. So that's what today's video is gonna be all about. So I personally um, own way too many perfumes. So much so that I end up giving them out. And usually I give out the dupes or I'll give out an expensive one because I know I'm gonna get the dupe and buy a lot. So I'm gonna share with you guys the top three dupes. In my personal opinion, of 2022 perfume dupes okay you guys because the perfumes i like tend to be on the higher side but i spray perfume like a psychopath like so i run out so i need a backup i need a second plan so we're going to go into i have three and only three because i know these are true dupes like no one can tell me that it's not a dupe for the the, fra the actual fragrance um so yeah, we're gonna go straight into it. Okay, so the first perfume that I have here is my favorite. And I've talked about this perfume before in my previous videos and I just feel like this perfume is like, you know, there's a lot of ways to describe a woman, but this perfume is feminine, it's elegant, it's edgy and it's sophisticated. That's how I would describe these perfumes. She's not girly. She's not too sweet. She's got, the, it's a little floral too. Anyway, you guys have heard about this perfume before. It's the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. So I did have the actual Chanel perfume, but again, I gave it to my mom because she absolutely loved it. So I was like, okay, I'll give it to her and I'll just get myself another one. Well, I came across the dupe. It is the Club de Nuit. For women, oh my gosh, guys, I don't know what I was going to say after that. That's why I stopped. This fragrance is the, I don't even want to say it's a dupe. Guys, this is better than the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I keep telling people, this is better. It has the lasting power. It has, it's it's not over oudy because I don't like strong oud. It's, it just hits, but it doesn't hit, it doesn't slap you where you're like, ugh. It's like, whoa, like, I like that. Anytime I wear this, I get compliments. There's no time I've worn this perfume. I could be going to the gas station or something. I will get compliments on this perfume. This is a dupe, if not better. Um, let me open it. Oh, gosh. There's something in there that's stronger than Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, but this is an exact dupe. Um, let me read to you guys the, the, um, the notes. So it says, Jasmine... Oh, geranium, jasmine, lychee, rose, musk, patchouli, vanilla, and vet vetiver. I'm not, not sure if I'm saying it right. Um, it's recommended for casual wear, which I do. I, I mostly wear this um, in the summer and spring, but you could wear this at night too because it has that power. Um, yeah, it's definitely a spring, everyday wear scent. You could even wear it in the fall, but definitely like more of an everyday wear. I mean, guys, if you get this perfume, you will not dislike it. Even if you don't like, like, it's not super fruity. It's not, it's not heavy in one specific area. Like, it's not heavy. I don't know if I smell vanilla, really, but nothing is heavy. It's like everything just complements each other. And it's really elegant and feminine. Like, it's not overpowering. It's just perfect, but it lasts so long and it's just so nice. Oh, I love it. I'm getting to the end of it. 
I think it looks like online. Well, I per I purchased mine from Amazon and it's super affordable because we all know the Coco Mademoiselle is like $120. This one is $30. You cannot beat that. And I think they have a new one out that's $50. I'm going to have to get this and see because it looks a little different, but it's so nice, you guys. Like, it is better than Coco Mademoiselle. So if you like Coco Mademoiselle, but you're like, uh, I don't want to spend that much money, definitely go ahead and pick this one up from Amazon. It's $30 before everybody, before it's sold out because these do sell out because they're quite popular. So if you haven't heard of it and you do like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, go for this. You will not regret it. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is the Old Good Faithful. I think I discovered this. This perfume came out two years ago. It is the YSL Lieb. Um, I actually have the Lay Parfume. It's the newest one that they came out where it's like really dark and intense. But I have the travel size version because I know for a fact I don't need to go and buy a $120 bottle. It's a beautiful bottle and I may still request it as a Christmas gift or, you know, if I save a little, I'll just go ahead and get it but if you can't get your hands on this or you don't you're not ready to spend that much Zara Zara has given you girls look at Zara is like they're on it look at how dark the fragrance is look at how like gorgeous the bottle is Zara is on it so this is the golden decade Dec decade yeah I'm saying that right golden decade eau de parfum from Zara it is a play by play by play exact dupe for YSL Lee. Now this is the Lay Parfume, so this one is a little bit stronger. Um, I'm just gonna spray it on my clothes here, because this one is a little bit stronger, so it's not gonna smell exactly the same, but it's like 96%. Mm, that Lay Parfume, it has a, it has a strong, a strong hit in it. I don't know what exactly. I'm not about to look up the notes, but <laughs> let's look up YSL Leap. YSL Leap is a popular perfume, so I mean, like, if you don't have YSL Leap in your collection, that's okay. You can go ahead and pick up this, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the notes. So mainly it's cedar, vanilla, lavender. There's something else in here. Um, black currant. Orange blossom, vanilla, jasmine, cedar, ambergris. It's just a, it's like a, a deep floral with a little musk in it. Floral, amber, and musk. Um, and then it has that orange blossom in there. And that's pretty much exactly how um, Zara describes it on their website too. The bottle is beautiful. It has a strong metal cap. This one is even prettier than the Le Parfum. The Le Parfum is, it's a bit stronger. Um, but, ooh, this Golden Decadence. One thing I will say, for a $30, $40 perfume, this lasts very long as well. This is your nighttime, sorry, somebody text me. This is your nighttime fall fragrance. Um, you're going out on an evening out, evening out fragrance, your all black outfit fragrance. Mm, it is so nice. It just, it's cold weather. This is my jam. Because I know when I had YSL leave, like, every night, it didn't matter if I was going out or not, I would, like, spray this. I just wanted to smell it. It's so warming, and it's so sexy and, like, luxurious. Mm, this is really nice. So, if you are into YSL leave or um, you want to try it out, I would say go for this. I mean, YSL leave has been out for a while now, so... You can get YSL leave and like pick this one up, have your backup. I love that. Um, and this one is $39.90. It was between $29.90 and $39.90. And this one sells out, you guys. So go and get it because Zara's perfumes sell out fast because they're that good. And they do make really good dupes. So pick this up if you like YSL leave because it is an exact dupe. Okay, so last but not least, we have a very elite and very popular amongst us us and last but not least we have a very popular a very elite she stands alone she is a grand fragrance and that is the gentle fluidity gold by maison francis 
Now, I personally have never purchased this perfume. I have smelled it, I have had testers, and I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not like obsessed with it because I'm just not like a floral girl like that. Like my floral has to have a bit of fruity, um, but it is a nice fragrance for like vacation, day, night, day out. Like this is just something I would carry on vacation because it's not like overpowering. I don't need to go on vacation and people talk, ask me about my perfume. Like I don't really care. I just like it. Um, but I don't love it, so I'm not about to go buy, spend $280 on Gentle Fluidity. But it is a very nice fragrance. Um, if, however, that is your jam, but you still don't want to spend that coin on it, Zara Rose Gourmand, hit for hit. Hit for hit. I saw another, I think I Am Shanika B, she was talking about it in her vlogs, and I was like, mm. Then I was like, okay, let me try it out. It was out of stock. Again, they're always out of stock. And I was like, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. So as soon as Golden Decade came in stock, I was like, let me see if this one came in stock. And I picked up the travel size because again, even if it is affordable, I don't feel like I need to invest in the big bottle. I think this is a really good, I love the size of this. I wish Zara would make this in this size in all of the fragrance. In fact, all $30 travel size perfumes should come like this because I'll be honest, I'm tired of, this is a rant now, I'm tired of buying the travel size bottles and then spraying it in. I don't have time for that. This is a perfect size bottle. So, um, yeah, this is a perfect dupe for Gentle Fluidity Gold. It is the Zara Rose Gourmand. I will um, list out the notes. Juniper berries, juniper berries oil, nutmeg oil, coriander seed oil, musk, ambery woods, vanilla blend. This, um... I feel like this is a little bit more floral, but I do see that, like, I do see the similarities. Um, it's elegant, it's nice, but it just doesn't pop out to me. So for me, I'm just like, oh, this is something that I like that I can carry with me on vacation. I don't want to have to force myself to, like, pack a whole bunch of, like, expensive travels, um, my expensive perfume into little bottles. Nah, just, I like this. This is perfect for day or night. Um... On vacation, I'm not obsessed with like dousing myself in fragrance. So, guys, this is a really good um, dupe for the Gentle Fluidity Gold, and it comes in different sizes. I think they even have a smaller size than this, and they have the big size, and they have a set too. So, definitely pick these up, check these out. Um, I love fragrances, so you guys are gonna get a lot of fragrances, fragrance videos from me. I definitely am looking towards more of the higher end just to see. If I really like something, guys, I will buy it, but it needs to be like unique on me. So definitely look out for those videos in the coming um, next months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out some of these dupes because, I mean, we like to save money around here. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.